This is Sam from Uniondale, and you're tuning in to another edition of the Sam I Analyze Show. This is our pre-draft show, folks. 2023. We've got some young guys who will be changing not only their lives, but the lives of their loved ones as well. Can't can't wait to hear it, folks. It's about to go down. Eight o'clock. And uh, who's going first? Hmm. Who's going after number one? And we we maybe I'll 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 go through a few of those, but the NBA has been busy as well today. We're going to talk about it all. Let's analyze, shall we? As of a few hours ago, breaking news today: the I guess the Wizards trade with the Suns. I guess now we're we're here. We 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 know. What it entails, right? And it's going to be Bradley Beal to the Suns. And then it's going to be let's let's go let's go to it, shall we? Let's 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 go to it. It is going to be CP3 is actually going to the Warriors. He's going to the Warriors. All right. And then the Wizards are going to get six second round picks and four pick swaps. That was a horrendous. I mean, I mean, look, listen, the Wizards did what they had to do. They wanted to get under that cap. Okay. 250 mil. I mean, whatever. It's good for them. You know, they they got from under that. Monst- monster of a contract and uh, good for them CP3 to the Warriors for Jordan Poole Jordan Poole comes back he's going to the Wizards is this the opportunity Chris Paul is finally going to get to win a chip nope nope not nope 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 I, I look listen the Warriors to me it's it's the beginning of of uh, the end of the Warriors as we see them. Honestly, to me, anyway. Um, I think those guys are older. I thought, um, I think Clay Thompson is no longer the Clay Thompson that we that we thought he was, you know, the the the, the star that he was. I no longer think he is. Uh, Jordan Poole for Chris Paul. I think Jordan Poole, I, you know, he, he played out of his mind and he plays very well, but come on. Come on. I don't know if uh, Jordan Poole is a guy that you build your team around, but he's a good young asset for the Warriors. So congratulations to the Warriors. Um, And with that Chris Paul move, it helps them to get out of the cap problem that they have um, for for many years to come as uh, Chris Paul uh, has one more year on his deal. So good for them. And then... And then, and I thought it would be a lot busier. Oh, you had a few guys opt out. Uh, I mean, I did mention Draymond a few days ago. And um, Chris Middleton for the Bucks. He opted out. He says, you know what, 40 mil. $40 million. He says, you know what, and look, listen. When players do this, you know they do this because they want a longer, a longer deal. Uh, does he get it? Who knows? I mean, he's been dealing with knee issues. Uh, so we are, we're going to see there. And then there was a trade yesterday night into the wee hours of the morning. I, I, I wanted this guy. I wanted this guy to come back home. I wanted the prodigal son to return. I wanted Chris K poor Z Chris stops poor Zingas to come back. And be the the anchor for the Knicks at the five spot. Had the you know he he had a career year, almost twenty four points a game. I was like, you know what, K. Poor Z, I wanted him back, but he's going to Boston, so whatever. I, I mean, not not his by his choice, but kind of was because he had to have op- opted in, I believe, to do that. So the Celtics just got. Did they get better though? Marcus Smart, Marcus, Marcus got traded 
and he's going to be the point guard in for the first 25 games that um, Ja gets his mind right. So they got Marcus. They sent him out over there. And that trade was kind of weird, right? That trade was kind of weird because the Chris Stops was in his goes to the Celtics, but so does the number 25 pick in this year's draft from the Grizzlies and the 2024 first round pick, top four protected. I, I was very surprised. Marcus Smart goes to the Grizz. And then, oh, the Wizards also get Tyus Jones. I guess Tyus Jones and Poole, not bad. Uh, former Nick of, uh, you know, uh, Danilo Garanari. He goes to the Celtics. And uh, Mike uh, Muscala goes to the Celtics. And the number 35 pick of this, uh, of the 2023 draft goes to the Celtics. So, I mean, no, no, not go to the Celtics, to the Wiz. So, that was movement. Not the movement I wanted to see. You know, you're also hearing now that uh, um, the New York Knicks have had exploratory conversations for uh, old man PG-13. And who who is? Who is? I, I didn't know. He is considered the GOAT to some of these youngsters about to be drafted tonight. Let's go into the draft. Let's go into the draft. Uh, who's going to be number one, though? Who's going to be number one? Madame et Monsieur, Victor Webinyama, il est, il est arrivé. Il est aux, aux États-Unis. Yes, he made it. He made it. Victor Wabanyama. You his his uh his his story, man. His 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 uh what's what's the word I'm looking for? His he his his story is growing. His and his ev uh, the more you hear about it, I mean the guy, when I first heard of him, he's seven three. He's seven four. Now he's seven five. By the end of tonight, he's going to be eight foot five. The guy handles the ball. The guy can dribble. The guy's, I mean, he's hes a, hes a the real quote-unquote unicorn. His legend continues to grow. That's the word I was looking for. His legend continues to grow. And I'm a fan of this guy. I'm a fan of his. I haven't been a friend, fan of too many of the, the, the French players. Basketeur, les Français. I'm not. I am not. I've not been a fan. Unfortunately, the French, the Frenchies, kind of hurt my my Knicks, man. From back in the day, Frederick Weiss, Vince Carter, boomed it on him, and and he was gone. By the way, if you don't know that story, look into it, man. I'm happy that uh, Frederick Weiss made made something of himself after the game of basketball because that dunk almost ended his life for real. Like he. And Frederick Weiss, man, happy that he's doing okay. Um, but look it up. Google. Do the Googles on that. But uh, Frederick Weiss, Frank Nilakina. Oh, man. Frank Nilakina. Oh, man. Who's now playing with the Dallas Knicks. Yeah. This guy, this guy, Victor, is supposed to be the real deal. He is supposed to be the real deal. So... All I'm saying, it's it's it's, it's etched in stone. Number one, I, I, as a matter of fact, he probably has his house already. Uh, you know, he's probably closing on his house in a, in in a few weeks. He's probably moved in or in, in into San Antonio already. I'm joking, right? But Victor has arrived, and uh, I'll tell you this: he's supposed he's supposed to be the next big basketball player. I'll tell you what: he's not a baseball player. That pitch. That pitch, he he's definitely not a big unit. He's definitely not a Randy Johnson with that with that Laredo. Shout out to Dave Cohen with that with that pitch. Um, David Cohen and um, he taught that to his boy David Wells as well. The Laredo that pitch they had uh, Victor throwing out first pitch, riding the subways. I mean, th this guy better be the real deal. I mean, he he talks very he talks a good game too. Very confident. I remember when he was featured on on ESPN. He they spoke he him versus um, 
uh, the uh, Ignite when he was playing against uh, Scoot Henderson. He said yeah, he's good. I mean, and he could go number one. Too bad he was born the same year as I was. I'm like, oh, okay. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you, Victor. But um, look, listen, he's, he's going number one. No question. He's going number one, hands down, right? But this is where the draft gets interesting, folks. At number two, the Charlotte Bobcats. <laughs> nah, I'm playing with you. The Hornets, they were once known as the Bobcats. The Hornets, Michael Jordans is about to sell them for a cool $3 billion, I believe. Not a bad investment on MJ's part uh, at all. But tonight, you've been hearing for a while. I mean, Brandon Miller, he's he's a and, and look, listen, Brandon Miller, he he's the one. They asked him who was the GOAT, and he said it was PG 13. And I'm like, you know what? Say he's your favorite player growing up, and he probably modeled his game after him or whatever. That's cool. That's his favorite player. But uh as as a GOAT. I think PG thirteen would, I mean, would would uh, would 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 be very, uh, you know, appreciative of that. But he knows better. You know, Brandon is a guy who who you might have seen. Uh, his name is uh, you might have seen Kobe. Yeah, him, that guy. He he maybe I would I would I would have thought he would have said that. I mean, looking at um, these uh, he's about what eighteen years old, nineteen. So. We're going to see who's going number two. That's going to be the interesting one. I, I've been hearing for a while, Scoot Henderson has been the real deal. And now you're hearing that it may not be Brandon Miller. Listen, if I'm Charlotte I'm I, and I, I, I like Brandon Miller, I think he'll fit better with uh, LaMelo Ball. But you got to go with the best available talent. If Scoot is going to be all world talent, You've got to go with Scoot, I think, at number two. Uh, you go get Scoot. And what what is Charlotte doing with uh, Bridges? Mr. Can't keep his hands to himself. Look, listen, I'm all about second chances, okay? Um, he's been, he, he, he was suspended, uh, or he, he wasn't signed, so in essence, you know, suspended and everything is he ever going to get his nba career back i hope he does i think if he look listen if he if he does whatever needs to be done to uh you know to 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 prove that you know he's, he's a changed man or what have you uh, and uh you know do the anger management and everything what's going on with him what's going on with, with uh with uh miles bridges so it's going to be very interesting to see what what michael jordan and his uh, team does tonight, but um, I, I I think this is that's where the draft gets interesting. You've got the double A, the 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 brothers, double A, which is pretty cool that you've got two twins uh, being drafted. I think that's amazing to see. You know the um, the Thompson twins. You know uh, how do you even how do you pronounce their names? If you're on the social media, get at me. How, how do you even how do you pronounce it? I know Amen. But uh, how do you, uh, Arsar? <sighs> I told you I'm not good with names, y'all. I'm not good with names. Another guy, look, listen, another guy that I'm going to be looking for in the draft who has, who has uh, definitely, um, excuse me, another guy who has definitely um, risen up the charts is uh, Anthony Black. That's a guy. I, I want to see what happens. I, look, listen. Uh, for me, I, I know the the top three guys for sure, and the twins. And obviously, I've also been following Cam Whitmore, um, another a guy who who is uh, you know he he is a guy who did play at uh, the alma mater of one uh, JB Jalen Brunson, um, and. Um, Jalen Brunson and or uh, form, what's his nick? What's what's the what's the Knicks uh, name over there? Josh Hart. He did go uh, to their alma mater, and um, and why it's 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 escaping me. Forgive me, folks. He did go to um, Villanova. 
I saw the school and and uh, you know I saw Coach Wright, Coach uh, Coach Wright, great guy by the way. I met him a few times uh, back in the day. Back in the day, yes, I did. But uh, you know, it's going to be very interesting to see what happens with him, for real. Uh, Cam Whitmore. But uh, I want to see tonight. Do the Knicks jump in? You've got a few teams with a, a few picks. You know, teams with uh, five picks or whatever, they usually never make all those picks. They don't. You know, is Utah going to get rid of one of their first-round picks? You know, is, is uh, uh, you know, what, what's going to happen there? Do the Knicks jump in? I think they jump in. Will Obi Toppin be traded? Would Zion be traded? It's a lot of intrigue going into tonight, y'all. And it's, it's going to be very interesting to see what happens. It really, truly is. Um, look, we'll, 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 we'll see. I mean, who to me, the only thing that's a given is Victor goes one. After that, is is it gonna be Scoot? Is it gonna be is it gonna be Brandon? It's gonna be very interesting. But I we'll 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 review it all. We will review it all. Now, folks, follow, subscribe, and oh, that bell on the right. Please hit that bell. It will remind that's the notification bell that will let you know whenever. I drop another video. Thank you for tuning in. Enjoy the draft. And as always, a tout à l'heure.